Random go. Okay. Random. Go. <laughs> All right. So today we, we have uh, the G-Box MX2. We're gonna do a quick unboxing. I did do a video before on this, but the last video was kind of uh, bad because I did it with my tablet. Um, so a quick unboxing. Okay, we have here yeah, user's manual, a little list of rules that they tell you to do and not to do, whatever. Um, we have the G-Box, the MX2. I personally have it, but this is a copy for somebody that I brought it in for. Alright, so simple here. As you see it here, we have the G with the X and MX2. Um, quick, quick view, we have four USBs. An SD MMC slot. We have an AV. I don't know exactly what this next slot does, but I never used it before. We have the HDMI, the Ethernet, and the power supply. The box is Wi Fi, but the Ethernet is an option. Alright, so we have a remote. Alright. The remote carries double A. Yep. No, triple A, sorry. And we have the AV plugs and the the power supply. Now it doesn't come with the HDMI, but I do have one. I suggest you do get one because it's much better. And we just a uh, next manual. Alright. Throw that away. Now let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so this is the setup for the G Box. Um, when you initially start it up, this is what you're going to see complete actions using. You can have 3D Launcher, Launcher, XBMC. Now, what I suggest that people do is that you choose XBMC and put it on always. Now, I'm going to explain to you why. As you can see, it's the uh, XBMC first starter for the G Box. But while this is loading, I'm telling you why. Okay. This is a media box that you're going to use for movies, uh, television shows, and so forth. So why are you going to use it for anything else? And uh, it only has one gig of RAM, so instead of using that gig of RAM on other things, you can just focus it on a movie so it'll give you a smoother experience. Okay, now that we're in, we're going to go to settings, and under settings, you're going to see four options. You have settings, file manager, profiles, and system information. We're going to go down to File Manager at first. Now, what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to add source. And in the add source section, you're going to have to put the, HT the HTTP URL link for each repository source, right? And then we're going to have to name it down here. Now, I've already done it, okay? Just for that. Just for the purpose of... Uh, time I've already done it okay so the first one is fusion xbmc hub.com and if you see it right to the top you'll see the HTTP link and I will leave these links into the description so you don't have to worry about keeping track of the video okay and then we have mashup and so forth and now let's come back out and then we have Xfinity now the reason why I named them dot fusion dot mashup and dot Xfinity is because once we come out of here and we finish adding all the sources, okay, and then we try to get something from that zip file. Let me show you how. Go into add-ons, go into settings, and then go into instead of going to file manager, you go just go into regular settings, and then add-ons, and then when we install from zip right here, right, it, it puts the dot puts them to the top of the list, okay. And instead of you having to go through this whole list, it's very uh, time consuming and it's a lot of repositories. So you imagine every time you download a repository, you have to go back into inside it and you have to put all that back in again. So it's easier just to put it to it. It saves some seconds and those seconds add up to be minutes, okay? Um, <clears throat> so let's you just go into one of the repositories. Now I've already downloaded a, a app. But you simply go into like mashup and then go down to the repository and download mashup repo dot 1.7 okay now 
I've already downloaded that. Once you finish downloading it, you can now go to get add-ons. Now I get all add-ons by Mash. That's where the mashup add-on is, and then I just download the mashup. All right. You can see it's enabled already. Okay. So now, now it is downloaded, we go into videos and then go into add-ons, okay, I like my things in the thumbnails, it's much easier to look at, alright, and let's go into mashup, alright, alright, so this is the mashup's first run on this device, alright, so, big thumbnail, excellent, okay, just press OK. You can see this is the intro video for a mashup, but in this video, you can see like they're showing you how to use it, and this is very important. Uh, showing you like how you could do different names with the TV Dixon. Um, I'm gonna show you like you can you can fast forward, right? You can rewind. I'm using the I'm using the keyboard and mouse. That's why I'm I, you see the cursor, but it it comes with a remote control, and you can even pause. All right, so let's pause that. Now, now that that's pause, let's exit. Okay, exit. All right, so now we are in Masha, and the basic gist of it. This is what I always tell people to use. It's super search. You have your favorites, and then you have your featured featured movies or movies are uh, uh, either in the movies or just came out the movies. Okay. Then we have uh, HD releases, live streams. Just a quick just a quick view. Um, I'm in the Bahamas, so we, we watch ZNS. Okay. So you can go by country once you go into lives. And then just go for the Bahamas. And then just play these at this, okay? okay? Let's go into I live streams. All English. And I guess eh, let's try the food network. So the video is catching up. As depends on how strong your internet is, how what's the speed like, um, and stuff like that. It'll take a while to clean up the picture, but it'll get much cleaner. I knew I wanted to make soup for Ed. Let's try another channel. In fact, let's try a new channel. Okay. Let's try CNN International. And I'm going to show you what the favorite button is for. Uh, that doesn't work. I think we have more than bublets. We have big bublets, if you will. But the question is, what you know? How much do we need to worry about them? And I think that's a function right. of how that how big they are. Okay, so so the favorite button you could just add that to favorites. All right, that's what that's for. And then what you can turn around and do, go to your favorites, and this applies to movies, TV shows, live TV. Go into your favorites and then go down to live, because there was a live thing that I saved, and you could just go straight to it. So when you find a link that worked for you, and you don't want to have to keep on searching for it, you could just put it in your favorites. It's much easier. Uh, this is the thing that I normally use a lot of uh, featured movies, and you can see in here, watch this. Once it's downloaded, the 30 movies that it has on each list, it, each list has about 30 movies. Then you go into the next list, next list, next list. It doesn't display all the movies at the same time. Okay. All right. So we have, and you can see like these are up-to-date movies. You know, 2014, like current day movies, movies that are in the movies right now. All right. 
So you got Spider-Man and all Spider-Man too. You know? Alright. And you just pretty much play it. Now, let me show you something that I like to watch. Now, this is the thing that really is going to get you. Uh, the Super Search and Mashup is really good. Um, I just, you can go down to like TV shows. Now, I like to watch King of the Hill. King of the Hill. Alright. Now, you don't have to put the whole word in. You can put partial, like a part of the word, and it'll search all the that has that part of that sentence or word or whatever have you. So now it's gonna display to me all the persons who have King of the Hill um, available. You have Ice Films, Mbox, Two Plus Watch Series. Now the one that works for me the best is Two Plus on my one. So I'm gonna just add that to my favorites because I know it does work, right? All right. So now we're just gonna go into Two Plus. Now I'm watching uh, season 13, so I already watched all the other ones. It took me a while, but you know, I got it done. Um, I can't remember what episode I'm on, but let's just try episode five, okay? All right. So it's working. See it in the right bottom corner. And then you can, these are the persons who have this link, right? So we have Put Locker, Nova Move, and uh, DivX Stage, okay? Now Put Locker is pretty solid, so I just use that, all right? And there we go. And there we go. This is uh, King of the Hill, and we can fast forward. No. No. And the good thing about it is that if you're familiar with like Netflix and stuff like that, if you stop it, come back later, it'll ask you if you if you want to resume where you left it off, and that's pretty cool. All right. Okay, we're gonna have to skip PE today because I don't have enough first place ribbons to go. Let's just stop that. Now that is pretty much it for. Uh, for the setup of the XBMC.